Well, it's only been a few days, and it turns out this series is a hit. So this is Fallout, Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, this is available on Amazon. And yes, I'm, I know the whole thing dropped at once, just like the three-body problem, and I'm working my way through it. But click subscribe, because I asked you to, nicely, with a smile on my face. Anyway, so um, we've got our three protagonists that we're following, Lucy, Maximus, and the Ghoul. And this is an episode two recap slash review, so I'm expecting that you're okay with it because I'm going to talk about the show as if everybody saw one, and now we're at two, so now I can talk about how Walton Goggins is playing the ghoul, uh, how he, you know, he's back, sort of like revived from the grave and floating around as you know, a kick-ass cowboy. Um, meanwhile, uh, Lucy is out there learning about the, you know, the dangers of being outside, and Maximus is following Titan around, uh, but not for, not for very long. Titan's kind of a dick and kind of gets himself into some positions. Um, it's sort of a very obvious sequence. I gotta be honest, even for Jonathan Nolan Project, I was like, this is a bit much, dude. Uh, calm, calm, bring it, dial it back just, just, just a little, but, um, yeah, so, uh, we see another character, um, who isn't given a name initially, and, uh, he's working with dogs, and the series opens up right away with, like, a shocker, like, we see this dude throws a puppy into an incinerator, like, a live puppy, into an incinerator, and I know that immediately people are going to be triggered by that, so I'm mentioning it just in case you haven't watched this episode. There's a puppy being thrown into an incinerator. <laughs> it's like the first thing that happens in this episode. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can't avoid that. Um, fast forward or something? I don't know. Um, but once we get away from that, I think the rest of the dogs were fine, I think he only, he, he ends up being kind of nice, and there's one that, he's supposed to kill any dog that doesn't work, weigh 10 ounces, when it's born as a puppy, and, um, he, there's one that's like 9 point something, and he rounds it up to 10, so, that other dog, that other one must have been the runt of the litter, <sighs> Not that that makes it right. I love dogs. Uh, but this is some weird world. And I, it doesn't really explain why he needs dogs of a certain weight. But anyway. Um, yeah. it's We see this and we see the development of, of how the companions, as we will, I think, come to call them. Uh, and this dog has a really specific name. It's like numbers. It's like NX5173. Zero, three. I don't know. Um, anyway, so there's a dog that he bonds with, and the dog ends up sort of, like, saving his life, and, and uh, then they venture out into the world together. And uh, he's surviving out there, and he runs into Lucy, and they have a conversation, because the cockroaches are a giant. If you played the video game, you remember rad roaches, so... Uh, they're f not fun to fight. Um, but, uh, also not necessarily the most terrifying thing. I don't remember this bear thing or ever fighting anything like this giant lesion bear. Maybe I did, but there's, uh, we then also see Maximus is, you know, being forced to go into a cave. He doesn't have any of the armor. Titan's just being a dick. And then Titan is the one that ends up getting attacked by this giant, like, radiated bear. Uh, which does not work out well for him. And uh, as he's lying there, dying and asking for a stem pack, if you didn't play the video game, stem packs are like when you pick up a health pack in a video game. <laughs> um, so he's begging for one of those. And uh, he's being such a dick about it that you're like, he's not going to give it to him. Titan's dead. This He's, he's such overt, like, no one would ever be this much of an asshole while asking for help. Like, the, most people are just like, 
even if you hate, you're, you're, you're like, you need that stem pack first, and then you can lay into him. But he's, like, laying into him, like, you know, just like, when we get back, you're gonna kill you, and you're gonna blah, 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 just, like, all this kind of stuff. And it's like, why would he save you? <laughs> like, what motivation does he have at this point? So, of course, he doesn't, and, uh, you know, Maximus is like, you don't deserve to wear that armor. I agree, he doesn't. You know, this is what happens when you take off the, the head. I think what's funny, what I did laugh about was uh, the the juxtaposition of the, the Titan voice, the voice that he has when he's wearing his armor, which is like this deep sort of, uh, do it, yeah, I'm Titan, you know, it's this big, bear, booming voice. And then it's just like a little wussy guy inside. It was just obnoxious. It's like, ah, oh, whatever. Bye. Bye, Felicia. So Maximus is headed on a on a route. I saw one person uh, point out that he, he it felt very much like uh, Finn's, uh, you know, trajectory in Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Which actually now I can't look away. Now I'm like, yeah, I see that. I I totally feel that. Where you're like, I think he's with the bad guys, but he's going to end up, like, turning out and helping out the other people. And then I'm like, wow, we have three people, just like The Force Awakens, that are, like, on three different converging plots. Huh. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, Lucy ends up finding out that the world is not all that glitters is gold, and uh, we get to see more of the ghoul. It's a fun episode. It's good. Um, I'm I'm still waiting for more Nuka Cola uh, in my life, but uh, and for that reference to drop into the audio description. But uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing okay. So uh, I like Fallout. I think it's cool fairies, and um, I hope you do too. So they can get a second season. Supposedly this thing is doing really well. It's got an eight point seven right now on IMDb, so it's like surging in potential. They're campaigning it for Emmys, so we'll see. Hopefully we get a second season. Uh, hopefully this is one of those things that actually already has a second season order, and uh, we I just don't know about it. And Amazon just went ahead and gave it a two-season order like they did with Lord of the Rings. So uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to give Fallout Season 1, Episode 2, an A. Yeah, I, I played the games. I think the show's dope. Uh, and I trust Jonathan Nolan uh, as as a as a designer. Uh, it was a little obvious that that Titan wasn't going to survive, but whatever. It's, just make me hate a character even more before they die. Probably a good thing. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I will be back with episode three. So see you guys on the other side.